Hey friends, so today Miss Roy is going to do a quick science lesson about butterflies and then I'm going to show you a magic trick that you can do at home. So this week we're learning all about insects and pond life. So we're learning about bugs and butterflies and uh, crickets and dragonflies and then we're also learning about animal, um, amphibians that live on the pond, ducks, all that fun stuff. So. So we already know through our lessons that we've been learning that butterflies metamorphosis. Can you say metamorphosis? Ooh, that's a hard word. Let's say it one more time. Everyone say metamorphosis. Good job. So metamorphosis, it's when an insect or amphibian changes and go through stages and turn into something else. So imagine you when you're a baby. And then you start to grow up. You become, you're a baby, and then you're a little kid, and then you're an adult. You go through metamorphosis. Did you know that? <gasps> Whoa, because you're not a baby anymore. You guys are big kids now. And then soon, you, when you're big kids, you're gonna become like Miss Roy, like an adult. You're going through a change. You're going through metamorphosis. So, just like a butterfly, what happens is the butterfly has four stages that they go through metamorphosis. So first we have the butterfly. Everyone say hi, butterfly. So butterfly will fly and lay an egg on a leaf. And then the eggs will hatch into a caterpillar. Everyone say hi, caterpillar. And then the caterpillar, he gets super, super hungry. So it has to eat for a long time. And so it gets, it eats and eats and eats on leaves and munch and munch and munch and becomes super fat. And then it gets sleepy. And then it wraps itself up and turns into a <gasps> cocoon. Or another word for cocoon is chrysalis. Can you say chrysalis? So it's almost like a big blanket. So when you go to sleep and you wrap yourself up in the chrysalis, you're transforming. You're going through metamorphosis. <gasps> so right now the caterpillar is asleep because it ate all that food and it's almost kind of like it's hibernating like a bear. So it's in the chrysalis right now. And then when it's ready, it's gonna <gasps> pop, turn into a butterfly. So that's when the caterpillar is all done growing and it becomes an adult, a butterfly. So first it's a butterfly and then it lays an egg and then it turns into a <gasps> caterpillar and then the caterpillar munch and munch and munch and munch and goes to sleep and becomes a chrysalis. And then after the chrysalis, when it's all done eating or all done sleeping, it turns into an, an adult butterfly. Can everyone say butterfly, egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly. So just like you, you're a baby and then you become a toddler and then a big kid, and then an adult, like Mr. Roy. So that is the life cycle of a butterfly. They go through changes called metamorphosis, four stages. So I'm gonna show you a fun magic trick that you can do at home. You ready to see? Okay, hold on. So friends, for your magic trick, you're gonna make, have to make a butterfly. And what you need is construction paper and tissue paper, okay? So you're gonna cut out the wings and cut out the body. Remember, head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. So you're gonna cut it out and you're gonna glue it to a table. Make sure it's flat and the wings have to be able to move. So you're gonna, we're gonna make these wings move with a <gasps> balloon. You ready to see? Okay, ready? This is what you have to do for your magic trick. You have to act a little bit silly. And abracadabra. Whoa, friends, it's moving. Woo. So 
did you like that magic trick? Super easy, huh? Well, guess what? We just use science. Did you know Miss Roy was creating static electricity with the balloon? I took the balloon and rubbed it on my hair. And that caused static electricity. And then the balloon is moving. Ooh, ooh, whoa, whoa, so cool. Static electricity is when there's an imbalance of particles because in this balloon, there are positives and then there are negatives. And like Miss Roy's hair, I have positive and negative particles too. And just like this paper, it has positives and negative particles too. Did you know that positives and negatives attract? Because opposites attract. Just like when you use magnets. When you play with magnets, the metals both have a positive and negative uh, charge on them. And so when they connect, they're attracted to each other. And so what Ms. Roy is doing is I'm transferring my negative particles to the balloon and now the balloon has more negative charge and those negative particles are attracted to the positive particles. And that's how we make the butterfly move. So it's like flying. So go home, I mean at home, try it, okay? Try to show mommy your magic trick. All right, have fun friends. Bye.